Hiath signs Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching. In today's reading, we'll take a look and see what the cards predict for you for your current situation. It is going to be a general reading. If you are after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed below. Otherwise, let's go ahead and take a look and see what the cards reveal to you. Okay, straight away I get this strong sense of a choice or a decision that has to be made. And it might be putting you in a very uncomfortable or even compromising situation. There could be a third party involved, okay? The three of, I mean, the lover's card and the devil does seem to depict three energies here. So maybe, you know, you're, you find yourself in this third party situation. Someone here has unwillingly put you in a third party situation third party situation there is this strong energy of imbalance which is why i you know speak of a third party situation it could be that there's you there's your person and unfortunately there is room for someone else or something else um so it doesn't necessarily have to mean that you know there is a third there's a third entry here there's a third person a third party it could also be this whole um notion because you've got the seven of cups and the seven of cups is like you know it's illusory it's wishful thinking it's daydreaming it's um fantasy, um, the person that you're currently involved with, okay, even though you might have some very strong, intense feelings for this person, they might not be reciprocating, they might not be the right person for you, or at this particular point in time, okay, this is someone that might not necessarily be matching your efforts, that might not be paralleling your efforts, this is someone who, maybe you're doing a lot more than they are, you're putting in more effort um, than they are, and maybe you're aware of it, okay? And you don't want to admit to it. Maybe you're completely unaware of it. And if you stop and think, you know, you're the one that's always making the effort. You're the one that's always, uh, I don't know, taking action, making plans, you know, um, reaching out to communicate. It just seems like you're doing a lot more than they are because you are that much more invested than they are, okay? And what you're doing, whether you realize it or not, but you're kind of overcompensating for this person's lack of effort. And, you know, maybe you don't have their 100% attention, okay? And maybe this is someone who, you know, intentionally want, is doing this because they want to keep their options open. They, you know, they could be holding space in their life for someone else, someone that they think may be a better match for them, someone that they think may be more, you know, uh, suitable for them they could also be holding space for an ex because the devil does seem to represent an ex in a reading so i'm not saying that they are but they very well could be okay and i know it's a little bit blunt and it's a little bit hard hitting but this is the message just that i get for you so here you are you're in a situation that you know is not necessarily healthy for you you know there's this disharmony there's this misalignment and there's this imbalance with this person but you choose to stay because ultimately the devil much like the lovers is about making choices now with the seven of cups i'm sure we're all familiar with the images but notice how the challenge uh, the chalices sorry they don't all bear desirable gifts okay some of them are fancy schmancy some of them are like snakes and dragons and monsters so not every choice or decision that you've been making so far has been right for you and oftentimes when the devil does show up, he's actually asking you um, to make a choice or a decision between the instant gratification that someone or something is giving you, okay, versus the long-term pain that you're, essentially this is causing you. So you need to make a choice, okay? Choosing, you, choosing to stay in a relationship that isn't healthy for you is not necessarily the best choice for you. Choosing to walk away might be difficult, but might be the better choice because the longer that you stay, you know, the more damaging this is to your health and your self-esteem. And also, you know, you're essentially what you're doing is you're closing yourself off to potentially finding someone who is your vibrational match, finding someone who is going to love you the way that you deserve to be loved and, you know, who will choose you. Ultimately, you'll be this person's number one choice, okay? And you'll be treated like a priority rather than the option. So right now, it does feel like there's this non-committal energy to the reading, uh, maybe someone is not able to commit to you because they're committed to someone else or they're committed to the idea of, you know, keeping themselves open. Um, or they're committed to the idea of not necessarily uh, wanting to put a title or a label to the relationship. Maybe 
the imbalance that I get in this reading isn't necessarily that they're cheating or attached to someone else. Maybe the imbalance is an indication that what you want and what they want are essentially two different things. And the relationship that you find yourself in essentially is like you guys are having two very different relationships. You know, you want something long term, consistent, stable. They, however, want something a little bit more fun, fleeting and something a little bit more casual. OK, they don't want to put a Tyler or a label to it, whereas you do. So it just feels like this is why I speak of this you know, imbalance and disharmony. Look, you may be compatible in so many other ways, but I think in the most important way, there is this sense of, you know, it's like you're going two separate ways, or this is two separate relationships. And there is this energy of you losing sleep over it. There is this energy of, you know, it's causing you concern. It's threatening your peace of mind. You know, simply put, you're not happy. And you know, the relationship that you're in isn't necessarily the best or the most healthiest for you. Yet, you know, you stay and that is a choice that you make. So you might need to pay a lot more close attention to the choices that you're making right now, okay? Because not every choice or decision, much like the Seven of Cups, is a good one. The Seven of Cups is also, you know, this card of illusion. So some of you are choosing to stay because you're committed to the illusion that you're going to change this person or they're going to get better, okay? That, you know, they're going to start loving you the way that you deserve to be loved. And look, that might be a truth for some of you, but for others, I feel like it's an illusion that you're basing this on, okay? It's what you want, but isn't necessarily what the situation is right now, is what you want the situation to be. So, you know, it could be an ex as well, because remember we spoke about the devil representing an ex. The situation you're in could be the ex, and this is someone who has come back to you, okay? Someone, you know, and it's someone who has hurt you in the past, and it's someone who has hurt the relationship in the past, Yet, you know, you decided to give it to give this connection another go. Maybe you're holding on to the illusion that, you know, of what was of what you guys once had. And maybe what you once had was this lover's energy. It was beautiful. It was romantic. It was, you know, unreal. But that was in the past and it's not what you have anymore. And you're holding on to the illusion of what once was or even the illusion of what could have been. OK, so some of you, you're dealing with a person, maybe you weren't necessarily in a relationship. Maybe you were more in a situationship with them and you're holding on to and maybe this is someone who's ghosted you or someone who is, you know, someone who's pulled away or someone who's basically this non-committal type of energy. And you're holding on to the relationship of the illusion of the expectation of what could have been. OK, you're not admitting to yourself of what was and the person that, you know, they were. You're essentially clutching on to the illusions of what could have been or even what should have been. But if it could have been, it would have been, right? Um, so, yeah, that's what I get very strongly for you. The chariot also, I just want to say that there is this, um, you know, both the sphinxes here that sit in the foreground. It's like they're staring out in two different directions. I do see two separate, I see opposites, okay, and I don't know if this is opposites attract kind of energy, or I don't know if this is like the two different relationships that I'm seeing right now, or two other different people that are involved in this connection, um, or if this ultimately is an indication that there is two different directions that the both of you are headed in, so even though you might find yourself in a relationship or in a connection with this person right now, it may not necessarily last if the choices or decisions that the both of you are making are not in the highest good, okay? So you may be with someone who is toxic, okay? And this, what this person is doing is sprinkling their toxic dust all over you and all over the situation, and you're allowing it to happen, okay? You could be with someone that even though you love, you know, they're not there or the relationship is not healthy for you, okay? And you could still love this person, but maybe it's best to love this person from a distance, Look, ultimately, I do think you're the expert on your own relationship. And at the end of the day, you know that there is some choice that maybe needs to be made. But I think all I'm just trying to say is make sure that choice or decision, whatever it is for you, okay, whether you choose to stay, whether you choose to go, you know, whatever you decide to do, make sure it's in alignment with your highest good. Okay, so if it feels if the decision feels right and you know when something feels right, it probably is. If it doesn't feel right, if it doesn't make you feel good about yourself or about the situation, it probably isn't. I think that's the simplest way of putting it, right? Um, but there you go, guys. That's what I have for you. So some pretty intense messages, a pretty intense situation right now. Um, 
But I think you'll figure it out. I do. I think you'll figure it out. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. Thank you, God. Thank you again for your time, your energy, and your attention. If you haven't already, um, please also hit the notification um, bell. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.